Now at this time of the year it's hard to imagine there will ever be summer again but it will be and now is a great time to start planting summer fruit in particular strawberries. Our gardening guru today is landscape designer James Walkinshaw. Now James thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me here. Uh, you never see people growing strawberries from seeds. Is there a reason for that? Seeds uh, are a bit problematic and generally if buying the punnets from the garden centre is the best way to go. Yeah they're pretty cheap too aren't they? Totally. The other thing you can do if you have existing strawberries is they send out lots of runners yeah. And that way you have a perpetual supply of strawberries if you keep them going. Excellent, which they always do. They just run rampant at the end of the season. Totally, totally. So what are you going to do for us today? Well, I'm making a hanging basket full of strawberries. And to do something a bit different, I'm planting up the sides and the top this, so that you get it completely full. This is such a cool idea. I've never thought to put my strawberries in a hanging yeah. basket. So you do it and we'll talk as you go through. Cool. So what do we need to do first? So I'm just going to finish off the, one of the ones on the side. Yep. I've already cut a hole. Okay, so you just shove it through. You actually cut the hole specially. Yeah, I cut the hole. Okay, yep, through the coconut fibre. And so I've got a strawberry plant here and you shake yep. off the excess soil. And I'm just wrapping it in tissue paper here, which will help protect the roots. Okay. And then I can thread it through. Ah, okay. So this is just to protect the roots as you go through the bit here. Exactly. Okay, that's a good trick to know, actually. And you can use newspaper, but I don't get the newspaper, so tissue paper was easier for me to find. <laughs> <laughs> and what sort of soil are you using in this? I'm just using a good quality organic compost. Um, and I've mixed it with a bit of potting mix as well, which has the water wetting agents in it. Strawberries are 90% water, so it's really important to keep them moist all throughout the year. Okay, I know that somebody once showed me a trick. You can just get a big bag of, must be compost or something, mm. shove holes in it and stick the strawberry plants That's in it. That's a great no-fuss way to plant strawberries. Doesn't look elegant though. It doesn't look like this. No, so we're trying for something a little bit prettier here. But... Okay, so you've got your strawberries coming out the side and then the ones at the top. What about spacing of them? What do you have to do? Well, if you're doing a row in a, in a plot, I'd space my rows at 50 centimetres and then probably do... Uh, Strawberries every 25 to 30 centimetres okay, apart. They, they do grow quite, quite mm. well, don't they? They do. And here I'm going to do three in the top and three in the sides. Okay, excellent. Do you have to break them up or break them apart or just leave them as like whole bits like that? These plants I'm just going to put straight in like this. Mm -hmm. And when they're in the garden, then it's just taking the runners and separating those off rather than dividing the plant. The actual plant, okay. Yeah. Now I'm going to fill it with soil. Good. Well, with this mix. This special stuff that you've got going on. Do you need them to be in full sun or shade or what are they like? Yeah, they love, they love full sun as long as you make sure that they've got a good amount of uh, water. They're, they're definitely better outside than inside, but um, uh, yeah. people in apartments. You could grow them on your, on your windowsill or something? Absolutely, yeah. Look at those ones there on the screen. Wow, they're amazing. That's a garden that we worked on down in uh, Matamata and so that's some strawberries mixed with Boysenberry. Oh, I like this idea for an yeah, outside Yeah, and so this is a wall full of strawberries and it's so productive. If you're growing strawberries, you don't want to grow one or two plants, do you? So you get maybe like no. a couple of berries. You want a lot for your pavlovas. Exactly. You know, <laughs> so this is pea straw and so pea straw keeps the moisture in. Any mulch keeps the moisture in, but pea straw's fantastic because it also keeps the fruit off the soil, which stops it getting dirty. And all monkey, and, yeah. Yeah, okay. exactly. Right, so you put that on, and then you can just hang it up outside, and there you've got your beautiful strawberries for summer. Exactly. Thanks for coming into the cafe. I love strawberries. Strawberries are amazing. It does make you think of summer too, doesn't it? Looks really easy too. Now, if you want to see more of James's work, check out the website.